Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on managing this multi-block layout and calculating the widths of the block so that they fill the container perfectly. So in a previous video, I set up this basic page with these four divs, and you can see they're not sized appropriately, and I did go ahead and add a little bit of visibility to the header element. So the page is relatively simple. We've got uh, simply a header with four blocks. The header is given some height and some background color so that you can see it. And the blocks, last number I tried around was 23%. But let's be a little bit more precise with the arrangement of these four blocks. So I've got a little calculator off to the side here. Let me just pop this open here. And my parent container is a thousand pixels, so that's what I—that's my starting value to work with. And I want to size these four blocks equally so they take up the full space. So since I've got a thousand to start with, I need to know, of course, my margin. Now my margins are five pixels on the left and the right of each of these blocks. So I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and forty. So I need to subtract forty from the starting thousand that gets me to 960 but I also have these borders to contend with and these borders are three pixels wide so I'm gonna have to allocate or account for the widths of the borders so we have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one and twenty four so if I subtract twenty four from the 960 that gets me to 936 divide that by the four blocks available and it's 234 pixels width of space so I can change this to 234 pixels of, of width for each of my four blocks and that's going to size them very nicely so now I have my four equally sized blocks within my fixed width container of a thousand pixels now just for fun I'm going to go ahead and put in a break here between these four divs and I'll put in two larger divs right beneath it and there's a number of ways you can do this one technique I like quite a bit would be to enclose these four divs within their own div so I'd have one div surrounding these and I'd have another div surrounding the two big blocks I'd like to put in below I think I'll skip that technique for today though even though I think it's a really good one instead I'll put in a headline too and this can be like a subtitle for a page or something I'll just put in some generic text text break from top to bottom but this is going to be a pretty useful little headline too. So let me just go ahead and do a, some quick formatting of it. Do a text align center, font family Verdana, and um, clear both. I don't want it to stretch. And just so we can see it for the short term, to pick solid red. You don't necessarily want to put borders on everything you do, but sometimes borders are nice in the working progress, in the working part of the job, because you can really see where things are going. All right, so there's my text break from top to bottom. And then beneath that, I'm going to have a few more divs. Just going to take those, pop them down here. A little spacing so it's a little clearer to you. I'm going to do five and six. Now these divs are going to be a little bit different so I don't want to classify them as block. I'll classify them as block two. There we go. So now we've got blocks five and six classed as block two. So I can create a rule for them. Remember I had a rule that controlled all of my blocks. In fact I can copy a lot of this, pop it down here, and of course these are going to have a different width. I'm not quite sure of the number yet, but we can assume it's probably something like 490 pixels because my container is a thousand pixels. Half of that would be 500 and with margins and padding a little bit less. So estimate 490 and I'll go ahead and set their heights to be about 300. And we can start to see them over here a little bit. And I must have a little screw up in the width. There it is, PXPX. So save this, refresh. There we go, things are working pretty well. I'm going to knock down the height. And 
They do have a float left, so you might think, well, how come they're not side by side? Well, it's because I didn't estimate really well on the width. If I knock these down to 480, they will start to get side by side. And you can start to see, okay, so now it's just a matter of doing the math again. Let me get rid of the border on my headline too. I'm finding that distracting. And using the same technique we used before, we can do this down here. So if I have my 1,000 pixels of space and I've got margins 5, 10, 15, and 20, that gets me down to 980. And then I take my borders, 3, 6, 9, 12, subtract 12, gets me down to 968, divide that by 2, and we've got 484 for the width. So 484 pixels will size that nice and neat. So now you've got a, uh, it's, it could be kind of an interesting web page layout. You know, don't use so many red and yellow color schemes, but instead put in some large graphics, simple text, or this could actually be the navigation menu area for the website. And you've got a web page layout that starts to, yes, has a lot of similarities to what you see in a lot of the other bigger websites you've, you enjoy.